Okay, we're back with our standard flathead screwdrivers. We're going to undo these. So loosen them all up at the same time. Maybe pretty tight there. And then again, always, we're never plugged in. It's always worth reviewing in your head. Green is ground for the US, white is the neutral line, and black is our light, live line. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the ground neutral in first. You can see the insulation's all the way up so that the tinned wire is exposed inside. The exposed tin wire is inside. Tighten that up so it's got a good grip right there. And you can see I could have exposed this a little bit more had the leading wires and it wouldn't be quite as awkward right here. I'm going to go ahead and put the black and the white in. Tighten those up. And you will want to make sure to double check each of those. Just give them a good little tug there and make sure they're not coming back. And again, we don't want any of our exposed, exposed soldering tin or the copper wires coming out of here. We want the insulation for each of the colored lines going out so we can still match it, green to ground, white to neutral, and black to live. And then you can see we, our insulation just ends here, and we kind of have a long power cord now, which we will insert into this end and then we will have a mains extension cable coming out of here. So again, this is our surge suppressor here in the black. Um, it's gonna handle sort of surge protections and noise filters coming in directly from mains, which we'll use an extension cord for. And then we have a plug just because it's nice to be able to sort of disconnect the whole system. We could have a more uh, different system for surge suppressing that had live wires automatically and feed these live wires in. Um, but this kind of makes it nice for getting it on and off. Now on my unit eight that I have built, I have a similar surge suppressor, but it has a switch on it, which is actually a nice feature. So rather than tugging at this, you can get one with a switch. Again, up to your personal needs, but you do want to have that surge suppression on the AC line before we come into the, tel to the universal power supply. So surge suppression here, then we bring in, in our case, the 110 volts for the USA. And what we're going to do is we're going to output that as about 12, 13, 14 volts. You can actually adjust it a little bit, but two wires off to the battery, um, both to trickle charge the battery and for backup. And then we're going to make some wires that go out to the control board right here. So, so again, battery wires will be right here voltage out will be right here and that will be 12 volts coming out of there um, and then we'll work on securing this down inside the box when we get to that point but for now let's go ahead and make some wires that hook the universal power supply up onto the 12 volt battery and then we can get a test of that and see that that's working 